Glock. The coolest one anybody could ever imagine. <laughs> you got to admit, even if you don't like Glocks, it doesn't get much better than that one. Quite an implement. Oh, a two liter. <laughs> A cowboy. <laughs> We're out of ammo. Bullseye. <laughs> yeah, Hickok 45. Being, having fun, but also being careful. Yes, this is a, did you notice? A full auto Glock. Yeah, thanks to NC Silencer. This is fully auto. It is select fire, actually. It's a Glock 17 with this little fun switch on the back. Right there, semi-auto, full auto, okay? And every Glock should be equipped with a knife like this, right? <laughs> we just couldn't resist. We picked that up at an NRA convention, I think about four years ago. And uh, I just keep it on my carry Glock usually. I mean, don't you? Don't you have one of these? <laughs> I'm gonna put the sheath back on it. Let me stab myself right here in video and then remove it for now. Okay, we might need it again later though, you never know. All right, ammo. And uh, again, this is uh, select fire. You select whether you want uh, semi-auto or full auto. It is a regular Glock 17 that's been modified. Now, before we shoot anymore, this is one of those things I joke about having a Glock 18 or, you know, I think in one video a long time ago, I said something about having a couple of Glock 18s in the way in my safe. I couldn't get to something. <laughs> That's really just, it's one of my lame jokes, but it should have struck everybody as, uh, as a joke, maybe not funny, but as a joke, because almost nobody, regular private citizen like me, John, you, most of you, can own a Glock 18 or even one of these, okay? It's almost unheard of because almost all of the Glock 18s were made after the 8586 machine gun ban. And unless, I think there's about three, four ways where you can own one of these. Uh, the best you can do is kind of like we do, you know, we have uh, help from NC Silencer. You, know, you can shoot it if you got your paperwork, you know, and you got, you know, it belongs to somebody that's legal and everything. Uh, they're a manufacturer or something. You've got to be a class three dealer with a law enforcement certification, okay, uh, to do work for law enforcement. Or you've got to be law enforcement or I think a class two manufacturer, okay? As I, as I understand it, that those are three of the ways that you could actually own one of these things. And that doesn't cover many of us, does it? All right, so that's why it's, it's fun to, to be able to, to have one of these for a little bit and, and, and shoot it and get access to it for even a brief period because it's just almost impossible for anybody to own, okay? And not just a Glock uh, full automatic, pistol but I guess a Beretta would be about as hard or any of the others there may be a few more of those that were made before 85 86 I don't know I'm not an expert in this stuff but uh, just take my word for it if you ever get a chance to shoot one like at a machine gun shoot pay your fee and walk up and shoot it which John and I both have done with the Glock 18s with one of these Glock 17 conversions we've done this before and even have some little video clips here and there in the library of that so uh, we have shot them before they're interesting. The Glock 18 and this one, I mean, there's no difference really. I mean, there's fully auto, you know, select fire Glock 17. So there's no real difference except you've got the selector on the back. This one was done uh, by, I think, a Hard Times Armory out of Georgia, I believe uh, they, they told me. And uh, it was uh, made for uh, police agencies. Again, one of those people, I guess a class two manufacturer, I guess, making it for a police uh, agency and then they didn't buy them all or something. And so NC Silencer grabbed one of them as a demo or whatever it is. So all legal, of course, but you and I, we just can't own. It doesn't matter how much money I was willing or had to put into one of these. I probably couldn't own one. It's just that simple. Okay, so anyway, especially you youngsters that don't realize that, you wonder why I'm a Glock guy, I don't have one. Maybe that'll answer it. All right, we're gonna shoot uh, some more. Now, it'll also take a regular, you know, magazine. It's a Glock 17. Let me lay it right there and put some of these in my pouch. We'll shoot uh, some of this red, isn't that a pretty red tip on that ammo? Well, I guess I got my mag pouches full, huh? 
All right, so let's just shoot a little bit. Now we've done a Glock 17, so uh, I want to. What I want to do here is kind of show you this and and talk about how uh, controllable it is and those sorts of things you might be curious about because it's a handful. It's a handful, but it is pretty controllable. It's more controllable than maybe you would expect. But then again, if you have no experience shooting this sort of thing, it might not be. You know, there have been some horrible accidents occurred because once you pull that trigger on full auto, you know, it wants to rise on you. Okay, so you've got to be ready for it. You definitely do. Let's, uh, let's, let's just shoot the, well, no, let's, uh, let's, let's have some fun on those 12 ounces first. Uh, I sh it shouldn't take any more than the 17. We'll put him on full auto. This is interesting because it's a, it fires from a closed bolt instead of an open bolt. And so I always get a little nervous. Oh, here I am putting on a full auto and then putting a round in the chamber. It's like it ought to fire, but no, it's a closed bolt machine gun or pistol, machine pistol. So let's see if I can hold on those 12 ounces there that John stacked up. <laughs> cool. You got to have a handle on that thing, but it's pretty neat. What I was going to do was, uh, let's do another Glock uh, 17 magazine and on that tombstone or that uh, coffin there. I'm going to try to hold right on it. All right. Full auto. Okay. Actually, I don't think it rose much. I got a little bit off to the left. Uh, I'm going to try it again with a, with a burst. I tell you, with, with practice, you could get to where you could really uh, control this thing. It's, a, <laughs> it's an interesting piece of hardware. You know what? This pot here is, is begging to be knocked out of the way, and I'm kind of tired of looking at it. So let's put a couple on it. <laughs> now that, my friends, is pot smoking. <laughs> Big time pot smoking. And I'm going to do a couple of bursts here. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to bear down on that, that two liter. Hmm. What was that? Three. Uh, I'm going to hit the bowling pin. <laughs> you see me anticipating. Uh, three shots is about as, as, as few as I can get it to fire. I can't get it down less than that, I don't think. Uh, there's a couple of. 12 ounces left there. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's try that. Oh, we're empty. Okay. Doesn't take long to run out, does it? Let's work on the cowboy a little bit. Let's see. Mr. Cowboy, a short burst. <laughs> you see me pulling down on that thing. Okay. <laughs> I really don't have to pull down as much as, I, as I'm doing, I guess. It's uh, kind of an instinct thing there. Uh, let's try another cowboy with some of the Syntec. Let's see. bad two liters <laughs> not bad not bad let's put a couple on the uh the i'll be careful over there of course uh and that's one of the 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 huge risk was firing something like this uh, is it could rise it doesn't take a lot of rise for you to be throwing around where you don't want it to go right i'm going to try the the hanging, the big hanging tank over there. All right. I've got, yeah, I've got several left in there. Now it might rise to the point where I'm getting up uh, maybe on the pigs or something. That's okay. I mean, it's got to, all the rounds have got to be for my sake, what I'm trying to do. I want all the rounds below the tires over there, below the red plate. Okay.
<laughs> okay. I think one hit the red plate. I tell you, it really takes off on you. It really takes off. It's a lot of fun. Wow. I'm gonna I have shot so much ammo already. Oh there's there's one. There's a couple left. Okay. One thing we wanted to do too is demonstrate a couple things here. Let's move down here on the range a little bit. I'll put a big one in. Let's go down here. It, it's just interesting because it is just a Glock 17. Uh, as I understand, there's just minor modifications to the frame and it's about a three piece kit that they install and, and put together for that. So it's still basically a Glock 17. And I guess it's a test, here I am promoting Glocks, right? It's a testament, I think, to this pistol that it really wasn't invented or designed to be a fully automatic pistol, as far as I know. But yet, uh, it, the Glock 18 and, and these, they seem to handle it just fine. So, uh, we got some pots set up there. What I was gonna do, you know, it really wants to rise on you, and that's, of course, one of the challenges. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the old uh, angle lateral like this, all right? Try this and see what happens. We'll try the pots there, do a little more pot smoking. All right, see if we can hang on to this thing. <laughs> I mean, I, I have to say that at least with a full auto pistol, a machine pistol like this, it, it is a little easier to, to hold where you want it to be. All right, let's try that again on these two liters. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, I could keep it right in there pretty well, pretty well. She's empty. And uh, I can't believe how many rounds I've burned through already. So it's it's fun, and yeah, we wanted to bring the fun to you. But again, uh, at least my perception of the fireman John's perception, he shot it, and uh, it it's 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 I don't know, it's a it's a paradox in a way. It's, it is controllable. It's more controllable than you would think it is, probably. If you're an experienced shooter and you came and shot this thing, you would be, uh, you know, carefully, you would be surprised that how controllable it is, I think. Then on the other hand, you might be surprised the other way because it really does want to get away from you. So you need to, there's no limp wristing this thing. You limp wrist this thing and you got rounds, you know, off into the hinterlands. Uh, but it, it does want to move and, and jump on you. So let's go down and take care of that watermelon. I mean, and I, I, I guess I won't, well, I could take it apart. Uh, the only thing I've noticed different, it's gonna be hot in it, whoo, is that uh, in, in taking it apart, it's a little rough, a little stiffer. I've taken it apart several times here in the, you know, it's so hot, I'm just not gonna do it right now. There's no real difference. I mean, it's just, uh, you can't tell much. There's a little little piece you can see there in terms of what they've done to it to make it fully auto. And, uh, you know, and that's it. And again, of course, it requires the paperwork, then see silencer, and you know, you'll ever mess with stuff like this, you know, illegally, of course. Uh, it's, it'd be fun to own one of these, but again, I, you know, it, it's uh, mostly for fun, mostly for fun. And, uh, and that kind of enjoyment, but uh, it, it does work. The cool thing about this is, I guess from a tactical standpoint, is you see the firepower that this thing can throw out, but yet it's still, and it's clear, it's still just a, a Glock 17, <laughs> and it will fire semi-auto uh, just fine, as far as I remember. Let me do that. Have we fired a semi-auto yet? <laughs> It is just a regular Glock 17. It's like kind of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, isn't it? <laughs> it works uh, all the other ways too. Yep. Long gong time. Lock 
Glock 17. I guess we got to load one more, don't you think? Let's do it. I really didn't think I'd be loading on, <laughs> on camera with all these magazines loaded, but here I am. I never get enough shooting in, do I? So, those are pretty bullets, aren't they? What if they could make some of those in uh, maybe our favorite colors? Like, how about blue or green, purple, orange? So, uh, the, the thing feeds, it, it feeds all the, this, uh, both, both types of American Eagle. We have not had one bobble in, uh, you know, in I don't know how many rounds, hundreds of rounds, not one bobble, I'll have to say. We've not tried a lot of exotic ammo or anything, or uh, I guess even any hollow points. Uh, you really need hollow points in a machine pistol, but uh, it's, it's fed them all. It's uh, pretty cool. Again, this is uh, one of those things that John and I don't deserve, you know, the opportunity to uh, experiment with something like this. It's uh, <laughs> actually, we deserve it, but it's, it's, it is special. It is special is my point there. And uh, to be able to, to shoot one of these things. You know, I like Glocks. And, and again, it doesn't matter whether you like Glocks or not. If you have, uh, pick out your favorite handgun, your favorite nine millimeter, and, uh, Put a switch on the back like that and you would you would have fun with it right uh, <laughs> I mean, full auto capability uh and and again it, it is a testament to glock i have to say because man you know cycling that fast that many times it's a testament to the magazines too really because I've, I've missed with a lot of semi-automatic handguns in my life and you know some are not 100 percent reliable you know, and some are really a borderline reliable at all. Their magazines don't have a good reputation, and you know, with certain mags that work, some they won't, and you gotta have a new mag or it's questionable and all that kind of thing. Uh, but every magazine that we've thrown into this thing works. Now you watch, it'll start malfunctioning. Uh, so, all right. What do we wanna wrap up with here? Uh, I'll try a couple with the gong. I'm going to be very, very careful uh, because we don't want to uh, do anything unsafe here. I'm going to do a couple of bursts very carefully over there. Not going to be a burst in semi-automatic, is it? <laughs> I think I hit him a couple of times and I don't think I got anything over it you know I always want to err on the uh, side of safety over there all right we got one more magazine oh boy oh boy I see one thing needs a few more hits on it right here uh why don't we just put several more on it on that paper target all right <laughs> and I saved a couple. Oh, we had a watermelon down here. I forgot. <laughs> All right, Mr. Watermelon. Drive by. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> well, he will just live for another day. So I just got one or two on the end of him. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to load a few more. Okay. <laughs> sorry, John. <laughs> we can't end on that. I mean, that watermelon needs to meet its death, doesn't it? All right. Sorry, uh, you're all going to miss dinner. I'll just load a, a small one here. And we'll finish off the watermelon. Can you believe I was about to let it go? I had a lapse of judgment there. Sorry, folks. Sorry about that. Yeah, I can certainly hit a watermelon. Okay. Select fire Glock 17. Uh, it's nice to be able to uh, experiment with one. We appreciate the help from Federal again and Buds and the NC Silencer. 
that enables us to do this. All right. All right. If I can make up for that. All right. I'm going to aim. <laughs> That's a little better. Oh, I see. There are actually hits. The backside's blown out, so some of those hits are just not, you know, exploding it like a 223 or a high-powered rifle would do. So uh, anyway, that's part of my excuse. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Glock 17 with the fun switch. Uh, it's just not something you encounter that often, and we're really, really glad to, to be able to to enjoy it and kind of give you our impressions of it. Like I said. It, uh, you'd be surprised, you'd be surprised at how you can control. I mean, a lot of people would look at a Glock doesn't weigh all that much. You know, polymer and, and uh, to full that, have that thing going off full auto that fast. You can see the cycle rate is, is significant, isn't it? And uh, it's high, and, but yet it still be fairly controllable, fairly controllable. It's, a, it's an amazing piece of hardware. It, it really is. So hopefully you'll get a chance sometime. Go to a machine gun shoot. Uh, there may be a gun shop somewhere. I don't know if they've got one of these at Bud's or not, but uh, again, you've got to be a, uh, have a licensed uh, manufacturer or you know, class three, you've got the law enforcement certification, got to be in law enforcement. Uh, you got to be making, uh, now you might ask, well, who would be making these? I'll be a manufacturer. Well, you got to be in the business of putting together firearms for like law enforcement and, or military and that sort of thing and actually selling to them you can't just say, oh yeah, I'll put my hand up. I'm a firearms manufacturer and start making stuff like this. You can't, you can't do it. it. It takes a lot. So anyway, uh, Select Fire Glock 17 is something that just doesn't come around every uh, day. So we're, we're uh, happy to be able to, to bring it to you. And I'm sorry that I'm the only one that had the fun with it today, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed seeing that, that crazy thing. It's, it's amazing. Life is good. Since I'm still here, let me thank SDI for all their help. SDI is a fully accredited online gunsmithing school. Check them out at sdi.edu. We'd also like to thank Bud's Gun Shop and Federal Premium for all of their support. You can find us on Full 30 also now, and you can find the links to our Facebook pages and the other YouTube pages in the description of any video. So I invite you to check out the description in every video or any video, you'll find what you need to know. And you'd better do it. I'm just not really happy about how we left that watermelon, so I'm gonna see what I can do with this thing.